Morning, Dan. How are you? Morning, John. Doing great. Thanks. Excellent. PTS, Dan. <laughs> and I'm Dan. That's right. So let's talk about wallet share. You, you can use a lot of different uh, phrases for it. That's just what I use. But that concept of you have X percentage of client business and then you have 32% more you can go get. How do you how do you make that happen? How do you bring it together? We talk a lot about, hey, it's okay to bring a client in start with what you work with with what you've laid out to uh, to begin with and then educate and grab more business as you go but some salespeople are exceptional at gathering wallet share i think the vast majority struggle at really getting deep though mm -hmm. can you talk about why that is and maybe one or two things that somebody that struggles with it can go do to get better at it there is a lot of negative beliefs that's wrapped into what you just said. So one of the things is, hey, I don't want to upset my competition, right? If I start going after them, they're going to start going after me. And now we have a turf war. Yep. Um, newsflash, if you start going after them, most of them will not come back after you. Most of them aren't very good at sales. <laughs> so if you're yes. doing it, they're just going to roll over and try to find something. But but here's the second issue. And, and this just goes back really to management. It's, it's what is management telling the salesperson to do? And, yes. and so a lot of times when managers, and that counts owners too, by the way, say, hey, we need more business. The number one activity that everyone starts doing is let's start cold calling. Let's start going to networking events. Let's start prospecting that way. And, and rarely does the person say, wait a second, let, let's sit back and let's look at our existing accounts. Let's figure out all the services we provide overall and how many of those are in those accounts and let's get the rest of them. Yeah. It's so simple. And yet yep. we don't do it. There's no glory. See, here's the, there's no glory to it. If, if I take an account from 50% to 60%, that's wonderful. It's an easy yes. thing to do, but there's no yes. glory in that as opposed to, Hey, I just brought in another account. Look at me, boss. I'm yeah. So it, it, if I was going to summarize all of this, it starts with management's desire to increase the sales within an account first. Yeah. So if, if, if the solo focus for that salesperson is where I get my, my, my ego driven aspect and paid is client act, new clients coming in. If they don't align the, the, the incentive structure for wallet share, you're not going to get the behavioral aspect. The other side that I, that I think is also more prevalent than it used to be today is frequently one person sells and another person or team implements, manages client service, client success, whatever you want to call it. You're then asking people who aren't oriented to sell to gain wallet share. So unless you bring that salesperson or sales team back in when it's appropriate, you're going to struggle to garner wallet share. That, that that is extremely a fantastic extreme example. I mean, I love it. I love it. That didn't come out right, but you get the point. <laughs> um, but but I I think there's something to that, right? As a salesperson, it's it we should be doing both, right? We should be increasing current accounts. We call that expanding, yep. and we should be acquiring new business. Yep. And and as long as you're doing both, and and being paid appropriately. So a lot of companies commission structure is if you have an account after a certain time, your commission rate drops on that account because it's now a current account or um, an old account. It's not a new one. But but the, the, the difficulty should be if I'm bringing in more business, I should get paid that as if it's a new account. Yeah. Make it happen. It's not that complicated. Well, and, and as a salesperson, if you ask me to, to function and focus on that service success side, I'm going to struggle in the same way that I'm asking that success person to sell. Yes. So bring the team members on that you need based on what's in front of you. Yeah, you're going to get higher profit margins, higher sales, and it's going to be easier to try to expand existing accounts. Can Hold on. Happy people. Bingo. See you tomorrow. Take care.